from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009, Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, and indeed, more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions in this quarterfinal game. Entering from my right is the Zane Scholars team from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. Peter Bello, fourth year electrical engineer in Ososo. Asameya Kibi, fifth year electrical engineer in Ewohini. Odisi Indiapa, fifth year medicine and surgery, Ekoma. And from my left is the Zane Scholars team from Edgerton University, Kenya. Stephen Omondi, fourth year economics and geography, Sierra. Victor Mboga, third year literature and sociology, Nairobi. Andrew Bore, fourth year agricultural engineering, Eldoret. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each, plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. And if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First, in center position for Edgerton University, Kenya, is Victor. Victor, you're a man of inordinate routine and a lover of nature. Explain. Um, there's this particular habit I have back in Nairobi. Every morning at about 5.30, going towards 6, I love waking up. Uh, to look at the sunrise on, at the Nairobi skyline. I love doing that because looking at the sunrise kind of gives me the idea that I am the sun. I can rise ab above the metropolis, looking at uh, all the people in the city. And um, this uh, sort of like gives me um, the, 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 um, the courage to face the day, face the challenges. Uh, thank Victor, you. Victor, I wish you more peace. Oseme? A lover of films, we've had this conversation, Cinderella Man, the Australian film Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe, a great influence on your life. Yes, the movie highlights the strength of the human spirit for me. It shows what can be achieved with what, uh, the right motivations and with determination. It tells of um, a boxer who goes from having a bad run and uh, experiencing a depression, and he goes on ahead to win the championship, the boxing championship of his time. It's a truly inspirational story. I recommend it for you. Well, I haven't seen it, Osame, but I will now. And it's for you to recommend the first category. You won the toss earlier on. Have a look at our first four categories, and they are geography, book words, oil, religious leaders. Osame, choice of category, please. Oil, please. Oil it is. Iran, Russia, Nigeria. Which of these nations produces the most petroleum? Lagos? Russia. 
Russia is correct for 20 bonus points. Which Middle East nation Saudi. leads the world in petroleum exports? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is correct. 30 points on the board. Osame, choice of category, please. Oil. Oil it is. Asphalt, lanolin, propane, which is not a petroleum product. Edgerton? Lanolin. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Petrol is known by which other name in North America? Gasoline. That is correct. Two. Which type of lorry fuel shares its name with a German engine inventor? Diesel. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 30 equal with Lagos. Victor, choice of category, please. Book words. Book words it is. Torah, Bible, Pentateuch. Which holy book takes its name from a Greek word for book? University of Lagos Bible. is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which biblio word, one, is a book lover? Bibliophile. That is correct. Two, is the listing of the author's sources at the end of a scholarly work? Bibli bibliography. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 60. Osame, choice of category, please. Oil. Oil it is. The commodity cartel OPEC was founded in 1960 in which now occupied city? Lagos. Riyadh. No, I'm turning it over to Edgerton. Baghdad. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Five points apiece and a five point bonus for all three, along with Nigeria. Which three African nations are current OPEC members? Libya. Yes. Angola. Yes. Egypt. No, Algeria. 10 points, bringing your total to 50 against Lagos is 60. Victor, choice of category, please. Geography. Geography it is. Africa's only national capital beginning with G is which city in the Kalahari Desert? Edgerton. Gaborone. That is correct for 20 bonus points. 10 points apiece. The ancient continent of Gondwana land had which present day continent? One, touching Africa at Ghana and Angola. South America. That is correct. Two, touching Africa at South Africa. Antarctica. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 80 against Lagos is 60. Victor, choice of category, please. Geography. Geography it is. Which city beginning with G is on the west bank of the Nile and is home to the Great Pyramids? Lagos. Giza. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Gombe Stream National Giza. Park and Chimpanzee Reserve is just south of Burundi. One, in which nation? Uh, Tanzania. That is correct. Two. Along which great lake? Tangaika. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 90 against Edgerton's 80. Osame, choice of category, please. Religious leaders. Religious leaders it is. Which name did the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church select for himself in 2005? Edgerton. Uh, John Paul II. I'm turning it over to Benedict. Lagos. That is correct. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Cesaic, Celtic, Coptic. Which word names the Orthodox Christian Church in Egypt? Coptic. That is correct, too. It is based in which port city? Egypt's second largest. Alexandria. That is correct for 20 points. <laughs> Round one ended. <laughs> the score stands at 80 points for Edgerton University, Kenya, against 120 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. And now, a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Zane understands that its activities have the potential to impact human rights in many ways. Zane works closely with communities in fighting hunger, providing shelter for the homeless. We are so happy for your donation because these chairs you donated to us have really given us a great joy. Fighting against HIV, supporting children with autism. <laughs> By serving the local community, Zane participates in enhancing development in countries of operation. Zane, building our nation for a wonderful world. That was a wonderful word from our sponsors, Zane. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 80 for Edgerton University, Kenya, against 120 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. We have two new face-off players in centre position, for the University of Lagos, we have Peter, 
And Peter, once at the age of eight, you were a naughty little boy and didn't stay in bed when mummy and daddy said so. Yeah. Explain. I was very... It was a very important day. Um, we were playing the finals, Nigeria against Argentina. I was the Olympic gold for the Olympic gold in 1996, and it was way past my bedtime, you know. So, but I, was, I really had to watch that match. So I crawled from my room down to the parlor, and I was there, nobody knew, until we collapsed, and I shouted, and they caught me. Yeah, but I got no spanking that day, because it was a very happy day for us. The moral of the story is conceal yourself better. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, yes. one day I hope to be able to address you as Jelly. Why? Because I'd like to learn how to play the chorus before I get too old. I think the chorus has one of the most beautiful sounds in the world. It gives me a whole range of emotions when I hear it. Well, Ajeli is a master chorus player and you can be a master category chooser. Have a look at our four new categories and they are African music, sport shorts, the state of business. What's it to be? Sport shorts. It is. In the most recent All-Africa Games, the women's pentathlon was replaced by which other competition featuring seven events? <coughs> University of Lagos. Heptathlon. Heptathlon. That is correct. For 20 bonus points. Since 1965, the All-Africa Games have been recognized by which worldwide body now headed by Jacques IOC. Rogi? IOC. That is correct for 20 points, giving you a total of 150 against Edgerton's 80. Peter, choice of category, please. What's it to be? What's it to be? Which M is a tall, slender tower or a mosque from which the summons to prayer is cried? <coughs> University of Lagos. Minaret. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. In Islam, which H that, that? is one, a pilgrimage to Mecca? Hajj. That is correct. Two, a set of dietary laws. Halal. That is correct for 20 points, giving you a total of 180. Peter, choice of category, please. What's it to be? What's it to be? Which three-letter word meaning law is the first name of Superman's arch enemy, Mr. Luther? <coughs> Edgerton University. Lex. Is correct yeah. for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which word ending in L-E-X? Reflex. One is the bending of a muscle. Reflex. No, the correct answer is flex. Two is an action that happens without thought. Reflex. That is correct for 10 points, bringing your total to 100 against Lagos is 180. Andrew, choice of category, please. Sport shots. Sport it is. Since 1996, which manager has led the Gunners of Arsenal? <coughs> University of Lagos. Asawenga. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, since 2006, Arsenal have played in which home stadium? Emirates Stadium. That is correct. Two, which Scott managed Arsenal from 1986 to 1995? Graham. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 210 against Edgerton's 100. Peter, choice of category, please. What is it to be? Canton, Hong Kong, Macau. Equestrian events at the 2008 Olympics were held on which Chinese territory that includes Kowloon? <coughs> Edgerton? Hong Kong. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Worker Stadium, the Bird's Nest, the Water Cube. Which Beijing venue hosted, one, the opening ceremonies? Bird's Nest. That is correct. Water two, cube. the swimming events? Water Cube. That is correct for 20 points. End of round two. The score stands at 130 for Edgerton University, Kenya, against 210 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. We'll be back to take more of the Zane Africa Challenge. Stay with us after this break. Tonight we'll answer the question, how is a Nobel Peace Prize winner selected? The Nobel Peace Prize Committee has only five members, elected by Norway's parliament. Each September, the Peace Prize Committee sends out invitations to several thousand notables around the world, university professors, judges, former Nobel honorees, etc. These people are invited to nominate worthy candidates for the award. From the replies they receive, the committee screens hundreds of nominees and makes a shortlist. That shortlist is reviewed and commented upon by advisors to the committee. Then, the five committee members vote. It's that simple. Now that you know how it works, perhaps you can become the next Wangare Madai or Kofi Annan. Email me with topics you'd like to know more about at mwalimu at zaneafricachallenge.com.
Welcome back to this exciting quarterfinal. This is the moment, though, to acknowledge our educational partners, the ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you all very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards, round three. The score stands at 130 for Edgerton University, Kenya, against 210 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. Two new players in centre position. ODC, I want you to recall, with great pain perhaps, far from your heart, a bloody encounter. Okay, well, as I said before, I'm a medical student. Well, I'm someone that enjoys gory movies with a lot of blood, bloody scenes, so I thought I would be up for it. So my first day in the theatre, I was meant to be up and about, helping and all. But I spent most of the time sitting down, trying to keep the contents of my stomach inside. It was a really unnerving day. Well, don't pass out in this game. Stephen, from yeah. Edgerton University, a trick question for you. Describe yourself in one word. I would say I'm resilient. That is, no matter how things seem not to work my way, with a little patience and endurance, I always overcome. Well, resilience is called for in the circumstances. Your team is behind, so you have a choice of category. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are easy to see in chemistry, off the charts, rebels, small places. Stephen. Small places. Small places it is. Most of the residents of Africa's least populous country live on the island of Mahé, in which nation? Edgerton? Seychelles. Is correct for 20 bonus points. Which city named after a 19th century ruler is the capital of the Seychelles? Victoria. That is correct for 20 points, 160 in all. Stephen, choice of category, please. Small places. Small places it is. Monaco, Capri, Crete. Which small nation is a principality on the mainland of Europe? <coughs> University of Lagos. Capri. No, I'm turning it over to Edgerton. Monaco. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Which two words, meaning large prize in French, name the annual Formula One auto race through the streets of Monaco? Grand Prix. That is correct for 20 points, 190. Stephen, choice of category, please. Small places. Small places it is. The world's smallest independent state is which home to the Catholic Church? The Vatican. University. That is correct. And that flash of lightning means that you, ODC, get to answer the Zane super bonus of the day for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is famous footballers. Please take a look at your screen. Of these famous footballers, which is one, Suley Muntari. D. Yes. Two, Emmanuel Adebayo. C. Yes. Three, Yakubu. A. That is correct for 30 points. Bringing your total to 250. ODC, choice of category, please. It is in chemistry. It is. In human respiration, oxygen is inhaled, and which compound beginning with C is exhaled? Edgerton. Carbon dioxide. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Caffeine, casein, codeine, and cysteine. Codeine, codeine, codeine. One. Which is an alkaloid opiate? Codeine. That is correct. Codeine. Two. Codeine. Which is an alkaloid stimulant? Caffeine. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 220 against Lagos is 250. Stephen, choice of category, please. Rebels. Rebels it is. The base is a literal translation of the name of which group headed by Osama bin Laden? Edgerton. Al-Qaeda. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Bin Laden is thought to be in hiding in Waziristan, an area near the border of which two Asian nations? Pakistan and Afghanistan. That is correct for 20 points, making you both 250 points equal. Stephen, choice of category, please. Off the charts. Off the charts it is. Early versions of which navigational aid were often simply a piece of lodestone made to float on water? Lagos? Compass. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. A lodestone is a naturally occurring magnet composed of which metal? Iron. That is correct. Two. Mm -hmm. Magnets are named after magnesia, a part of which European country on the Aegean Sea? Greece. That is correct for 20 points. ODC, choice of country. In chemistry. It is. Which C compound containing the metal magnesium is the pigment used in plant photosynthesis? Edgerton. Mag chlorophyll. Yes, for 20 bonus points. Blue. Green. 
green, red, chlorophyll pigment has which color? Green. Yes, for 20 points. Bringing your totals to... <laughs> at the end of round three, the score stands at Edgerton University 280, the University of Lagos 280. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first correct player wins a Zane USB data card with 1,000 Naira airtime. The second correct player wins a 4 GB iPod. The third correct player wins a 2 GB iPod. The fourth and fifth correct players win vouchers for Zane airtime worth 3,000 Naira. The question for today is, which hitmaker's solo work includes Gongo Aso? Again, which hitmaker's solo work includes Gongo Aso? Is it A, Two Shots, B, Nice, or C, Two Face? SMS your answer to 33996. Choose A for Two Shots, B, Nice, or C, Two Face. SMS your answer to 33996. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 280 for Edgerton University, Kenya, against 280 for the University of Lagos, Nigeria. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. It's Edgerton's turn to go first. And remember, especially when the scores are equal, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are war novels, dragons, Deep thinkers this decade. War novels. War novels it is. <clears throat> Take a deep breath, gentlemen. During which war or in which nation were these fictional accounts of real wars set? And seconds away, genocidal civil war, setting of Bubuka Diops Murambi. Pass. The Great War in All Quiet on the Western Front. First World War? Yes. The Second Timurenga, setting of Bones. Pass. This war specific theatre was World a War setting. II? Yes. 20th century Asian War Vietnam MASH. Vietnam War? No. Moses, Citizen and Me is set during this nation's recent civil war. Angola? No. Nation Russia? Russia? Yes. The nation of Miyakuto's Terra Sonambula. Senegal? No. The British colonial war of Breaker Morant. World War I? No. The nation at war in Hemingway's for whom the Spanish belt... Spanish Civil War. Yes. Genocide in the Civil War, setting of Bubuka Diops Murambi. Sierra Leone? No. The second Chimurenga, setting of Bones. Uh, Zimbabwe and Busho? Yes. 20th century Asian War, MASH. Pass. Moses, Citizen Me, is set during this nation's recent civil war. Uganda. Uganda. Time's up. You answered five questions correctly, giving you 250 points in the ultimate challenge round and a grand total of 530. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Babuka Diops Morambi is set in Rwanda. MASH refers to the Korean War. Moses Citizen Me, Sierra Leone. Terra Sonambula, Mozambique. And finally, Breaker Morant, the Boer War. The University of Lagos, at this stage, with 280 points, you are 250 points behind and need six correct answers to emerge as ultimate winners of this quarterfinal game. Which of the three remaining categories might you choose? This decade. This decade. This decade it is. 
Take a deep breath, lady and gentlemen. From the year and clue, identify these newsworthy people, places and things from 2000 onwards. And seconds away, 2008. Raul. Yes. This former American president. Winston. No, 2008. Malawi ended China. government relations with this Chinese island. Yes. UK troops left this Baghdad. largest. No. Russia shut off. Georgia. Georgia. No. This Tunisian team won the CAF Winners' Cup. No. 2005. News Corp purchased Facebook. this. No. Ghana scraps the 4th of June holiday celebrating this man's coup. Yes. 2006. A unit of Islamic court sees this Oops, African camp. No. This country retires its fragment. Yes. This former American president. Yes. 2008. Malawi ended government relations with this Chinese pass, island. Pass, pass. UK pass. troops left this largest city. Pass. Russia shut off national Ukraine. Order. Yes. 2003. This Tunisian team won the CAF Winners' Cup. It was No. News Corp purchased this huge social network site. High five. No. A union of Islamic pass, courts pass, pass. sees this African. Oh. You answered five questions correctly for a total of 250 points, making both teams tied at 530 points each at this stage of the game, and there's still more to go. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Malawi ended relations with Taiwan. The City UK troops left Basra. The CAF Winners' Cup was called Etoile Sahel, which I heard too late. Purchased by News Corp, myspace.com. And finally, the city seized by the Union of Islamic Courts is Mogadishu. The game will go to sudden death. Each team can put the player they want in center positions. We now have Peter in center position for the University of Lagos, Nigeria, and Stephen for Edgerton University, Kenya. The first correct answer to a face-off question wins. The sudden death category is general knowledge. Take a deep breath. Niger is offering a $10 reward to anyone reporting a case of which painful parasitic worm named for a region of Africa? Lagos? Guinea. It's correct. Making the University of Lagos, Nigeria, the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. Edgerton University, it bears reminding people that Edgerton University has won this competition two years in a row, in 2007 and 2008. I think this is more than a worthy exit. Well done, well played to you. We have to say goodbye to you. But as quarter finalists this year, you'll be taking away 1,500 US dollars each, plus 15,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. The University of Lagos, Nigeria. Ekushe, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zay. In our next quarterfinal game, the University of Zambia takes on Muzuzu University Malawi in the international inter-university battle of reigns that is the Zane Africa Challenge. To join us again, from all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time.